What is up guys and welcome back to another video and today I am going to be showing you how to mine Beam with your gaming PC at home. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to need is a Beam wallet which you can use to send your mining profits to. Now for this video I'm going to be using the official Beam uh, provided wallet uh, because it is the simplest one to get started with and it's just what I've been using um, but in theory you can go ahead and use any Beam wallet you would like the important thing that we need for this tutorial is an address to send our profits to so once you've got that uh, wallet set up uh, the next thing we're going to need to do is create a folder on our desktop which we can use to store the mining software so we're going to right click on our desktop select new folder and in theory, you can call this whatever you would like. Um, but the mining software I'm going to be using today for this tutorial is called NB Miner. So for simplicity's sake, I prefer to just name the folder NB Miner. But in theory, it doesn't matter. Now, before we actually go ahead and download the mining software, we actually need to make a few tweaks to the settings in Windows in order for us to be able to actually download it. So we're going to press the start button menu and type in virus and the first option is virus and threat protection which we're going to click on if you want to do it manually you can go to settings window security and virus and threat protection so we're going to scroll down to virus and threat protection settings click on manage settings and the first thing we need to do is turn off real-time protection the reason being is because if we had this turned on it wouldn't allow us to download it from chrome it would just flag it and stop the download we're going to scroll down to exclusions and then we're going to click on add or remove exclusions. What we're going to be doing here is saying anything in this folder we've just created, don't scan it for a virus. Otherwise, every time you attempted to open up the software, it would flag it as being a virus and you wouldn't be able to run it. So we're going to click add an exclusion and we're going to select folder because that's what we're working with. And we're going to make sure we select the NB minor folder on the desktop. Now you will see in the exclusions tab, we have a file uh, path locating or pointing towards the NB minor folder we have just created. Right, now that we have those settings changed, we can actually go ahead and download the miner. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to be using NB miner. Um, links to all of these web pages that I'm using is down in the description. The reason I'm using NB Miner is because personally I feel like it's the most beginner friendly to use and set up and it is also what I have been using since I started um, mining cryptocurrency myself. So it's what we're going to be using today. Uh, currently on version 38.2 uh, but that could be different depending on when you're watching this video. So we're going to go ahead and click the uh, first file which is the zip file and Chrome will flag it as being dangerous but that is all right. We're going to click show all at the bottom right and that will send us to our downloads page. Here we have two options, remove from list or keep dangerous file. We're going to go ahead and keep dangerous file, but don't worry, it's not actually dangerous. It is just what Chrome is using as their wording. Uh, this software is used by millions of people around the world. Totally OK. Keep dangerous file, keep anyway, and it is now downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and go to our file explorer head over to downloads and you will see that it is downloaded as it is a zip file however we have got to go ahead and extract it so we're going to right click it select extract and we are not going to extract it to the default destination because we have to make sure we extract it to that file we just uh, added the exemption from otherwise it will be flagged so select browse and we're going to press the nb minor folder that we have created and excluded in our settings select the folder and click extract and you will now see that our MB minor folder actually has something inside of it if we open that up MB minor underscore win and you will see we now have mining software installed now these first few files you can basically ignore all they are is the basic files that are needed to run the mining software what we're going to be looking at these folder files which all look very similar and they're all .bat which stands for batch files these are the actual files we are going to have to run in order to actually mine 
Now in this tutorial, as we are going to be mining beam, we are going to be working with this file right here, the start underscore beam dot bat. Before we start mining though, we've actually got to go ahead and change the file slightly to suit our preferences. So we're going to select it, right click and select edit. It will then say Windows to protect your PC. We're going to select more info, run anyway. And now we have opened the file. Now, this is where we're going to make a few changes, but first I'm going to take you through what is basically being said in this file. First of all, we have the name of the miner, uh, in this case, NB miner. Next, we have dash A, which is the algorithm. In this case, it's beam version 3. Next, we have dash O, and this is the pool that we are going to be mining to. The current default pool is Spark Pool, which is a decent pool, but we're going to actually be changing it to a different pool that I prefer, which is Ethermine. Um, even though it says Ethermine, they have multiple different coins supported. This is what I have been using since I started mining. I have loved it. I've had no issues and I feel like it's pretty easy to use. Again, link to the pool down below in the description. On this page, we're going to press the start mining button at the top right in orange. And that is going to show us the server that we need to be using. As you can see, the locations are Europe, US and Asia. If you do not fall into one of these regions, don't worry, simply select the server that is closest to you. So if you live in Canada and not the US, still select the US server because it will be the closest one to you. In my case, we're in, I live in Europe, so I'm going to select the server URL underneath Europe. We're going to highlight it, copy and paste, and we're going to head back over to the notepad. And what we're going to do is replace it with the current link. So starting with straighten and ending with the .com, we're going to paste in the new URL, making sure we leave the colon in there. Now for the Stratum port, it's currently set to four twos. For NB my or for Ethermine, sorry, we actually need four threes. So again, copy that, head back over, highlight, and paste it. So that should now match up perfectly. EU one beam dot org, EU beam dot org, and the Stratum port three 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 three. Next, we have the underscore slash dash u, and this is then followed by the address. Now, as a default, this is set to a random address. If we were to start mining now, it would mine to a totally random stranger's beam address. We want to change this to make sure it is our address. So I'm going to head into the beam wallet, select receive at the top right. And as you can see over on the right, we have our address, which we are simply going to go ahead and copy. Uh, I think that's copied. We're then going to go ahead and highlight this address here and hit paste. We're going to do a quick sanity check as a very long address and make sure, as you can see on our beam wallet, it starts with 2DW, which it does here. And it ends in NA, which it also does here. After the address, there's a punctuation or sorry, a period followed by the word default. In theory, you can get rid of the punctuation and the default, but this is simply uh, an organization thing. So you're naming your miner basically. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 2070 because that is the graphics card I am using. But you can change it to gaming rig, mining rig, whatever. It's simply giving it a name for organization purposes. Now that everything has been edited to our preferences, we're going to go ahead and click on file at the top left and save. Make sure you save the changes you have made. Now we're going to go back to our mining software and rather than click right clicking and editing the beam file, we're going to double click it. It will open up a command window and it will start mining. If you see this login succeeded in green, you know you have started mining and that's what we're doing now. So congratulations, you have officially started mining Beam. Now, if you're wondering how do you go ahead and see how much you've mined, because this is simply a basic command screen, all you've got to do is head back to the pool we're using, in this case Ethermine, and next to where it says start mining, there's a place where it says miner address. We can paste in our miner address and click enter. Now, currently, uh, oh, sorry, this is basically your dashboard for your address. 
eventually it will show up here uh, and you'll see a bunch of statistics including the amount of workers active uh, and how much you've earned and your estimated earnings now currently it says there are zero workers active this is normal it usually takes a pull 15 to 30 minutes to go ahead and update once you've started mining so keep on mining give it some time wait 15 to 30 ish minutes and you will see that you have an active worker here you've got your dashboard your payouts and your settings all of those can be changed so congratulations you are now officially mining beam uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you did, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. Many more cryptocurrency videos already on my channel and more to come. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.